what's going on you guys welcome to my video in today's video i want to talk about why self-help or self-improvement can hurt you i know there are you know self-improvement is a growing niche and there's a lot of people talking about it and it, that's a great thing but the problem with self-improvement and working on yourself is you think when you watch videos or you read books about it on, on developing yourself and becoming a better person, learning about these habits, you think just learning about it, just watching about it does something. It doesn't do anything. You gain knowledge, sure, but knowledge without any action is useless. You can talk to people about it. You just know about it. But when you're not putting and implementing these things that you learned, you know, the habits that you learned in place, you're not putting it in place in, in your life, nothing will happen. So basically what you're learning is useless because you're not using it to your advantage. And we tend to think and believe that, oh, just because I'm watching these videos, just because I'm reading these books, it's, it's a step towards self-improvement. And it is, it's a small step towards it. But most people, they don't really do anything. They have all this knowledge and they don't do anything with it. And that's what I see a lot in, in personal development, you know? They're like, oh, meditate, oh, semen retention, oh, create a schedule, do all these things. And when you ask the person, are you doing any of these things? They'll say, uh, no. And that's why a lot of people, you know, they may have so much information. And this was also me, I was, I definitely fell in this group of people. Um, I had all this information, especially when I was like, I got into it when I was like 20. Um, I had all this information, you know, I felt like I knew everything about self-improvement, all the good habits, and like my life was just not changing. I was still living with my mom. I was not financially independent, you know. Um, my body, I didn't really like it. Um, I had bad habits, but I knew not to do these things, you know, um, but I just didn't do anything about it. So one huge key with personal development is taking action, you know, stop reading and stop taking in all this information if you're not doing anything of course these things are great to do it's great to read and great to absorb information but if you see yourself not doing anything stop taking in information it's called information overload when you have so much information and so much knowledge like you literally don't even know what to do you know there's a lot of opinions out there just stick to the basics stick to what you know you know wake up early do your thing have your schedule go to the gym drink a lot of water eat healthy do all of these things and then when you see yourself actually doing it you know that's when you can start reading books and and all this about personal development but if you're constantly just taking in information and doing nothing with it your life will not change you will be fucking old with all this information and have done nothing with it right so that's the only reason why self-improvement is ruining you or not helping you you know other than that self-improvement is the best thing you can be doing you know working on yourself improving yourself in every way shape and form it's the best thing you can do so yeah, I'm just out here vibing with my doggy. I live in DC, so it's nice to just go out to the woods, go into nature, you know, smell the oxygen, the fresh oxygen. The city makes me feel some type of way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I also like being in the woods. You know, the woods is literally my backyard. I literally take 10 steps and I'm back here. I don't know if you can see, but that's my building back there. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I will see y'all on the next one.